We're at Dream Riders, awesome, whether it be car lot, or you consider this right here. Well, it's a car museum, but we also offer cars for sale and consignment too. Nice. Well, what is your location, where we're at right now? We're in Corinth, Mississippi, in northeastern Mississippi, very close to Alabama and Tennessee. Right, shoot your number real fast, that's the first thing they're going to ask for. 662-331-1980. 331-1980. Uh, what's your email so they can contact you or look at the cars here? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so our website's still under construction as we're a new business, but uh, our email is info, I-N-F-O, at dreamriders, with a Z, dot com. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. So the cars we're going to look at, some are for sale. That's the cool thing. Soon. Soon, because it just opened up. So if you give them cash offers, that always helps out. Money talks, bullshit, you know. Rocks, <laughs> but y'all come check them out. Beautiful cars. I'm talking about beautiful. Ooh. Is that the Lotus? <laughs> so these are not muscle cars. They're more exotics, and we got the muscle cars on the other side. But we're gonna go through mostly all of them. Now, what, what what's going on with this right here, buddy? Uh, this is a car that came from a private collection. It'll soon be on consignment. It's a it's a very unique uh, Lotus Elise from uh, 2005. A lot of people have never even heard of Lotuses, but if you've ever watched the movie Pretty Woman, it's what Richard Gere <laughs> borrows from George Costanza to go, you know, pick up his date in. But we actually have two at the museum here. But this is a beautiful example and a really desirable color uh, for for a Lotus. There you go, and it's an 05 model, right? Yeah. Oh man, it is nice. Uh, what's going on with this right here? 96. No, this is actually a 69. Sorry, that's and, right. And it's a British made car, uh, TDR, and it's their Vixen S2. So there's very, actually very few of these ever made, uh, as TDR didn't last very long, as you might imagine. So with a whopping 90 horsepower, this thing's uh, beautiful. And it's only one of 200, uh, 400 and, and uh, about 430 that were ever made. So uh, we're very lucky to have this in the museum. Now, is this re just got repainted, or is that just still original paint on it? No, it's, it's an older restoration. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a green, dark, dark green? I don't know. It's a weird color. But beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> now, look at this bike. This reminds me of like an old anime kind of situation going on with this bike. This is beautiful. 2009 Thoroughbred Stallion. Uh, Thoroughbred uh, took a break for making bikes uh, during the recession. They're now back, but this is one of the original uh, production runs of 2009. It features uh, heating and air. It has air ride suspension. It has fully automatic transmission and a steering wheel. But in the state of Mississippi, you still have to have a helmet on it or wherever you may be riding, but it's considered a trike or a motorcycle. It has tons of storage in it. Uh, we see this a lot with uh, the older guys who enjoy, enjoy riding, but you know, bikes are heavy and this is, offers them uh, all the opportunity to still ride and get their spouse on and still have some fun too. Yeah, I've definitely had a couple motorcycle wrecks. <laughs> does suck, you can pick it up a crotch rocket. They're heavy. <laughs> Lift your back. No. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's more my style. I'm digging this. 1930 Ford. Ooh, that's nice. This Model A truck coupled with a 1928 uh, sport coupe beside it. Uh, this one was purchased from a private collection at Tupelo Automobile Museum. Uh, the sport coupe we've had for quite a while. You can, uh, it's more of a party wagon because it has a rumble seat in the back, so you can fit two very tiny friends in the very back of it. Uh, but you need the truck to haul beer in. So uh, we've got a couple that are uh, beautiful, beautiful, very, very old restorations, and they are in a very close to stock condition. So it's basically to buy if you want to keep the kids in the back. You don't want to hear them scream the whole time. There, there you go. go. <laughs> and if you want to go race car, real race car, boom. Both of these are track driven cars. Uh, neither for sale, but more for display here in Mississippi. We love our NASCAR. And we love the folks that come in and enjoy them. The kids enjoy getting their pictures made. But these are actual track cars, uh, race driven. Uh, both of them from, uh, from an older era of NASCAR. Any of them got any medals or anything like that? Or? Sure. Not, not sure yet, but you can look it up yourself. If you know the car, give us a shout out, let us know what's going on. Woo! The 911 Porsche. People don't like when you say Porsche, it's Porsche. Porsche. <laughs> 89 model. Nice convertible. 911 Carrera, one of the most iconic body styles Porsche ever offered. Mm -hmm. And uh, black on black, traditional sports car colors uh, and it's all original and it's in absolutely fantastic shape. And this it actually thing. has a wing. That's a, a lot yeah. of people, oh, I love that wing. <laughs> cool. 
it's real nice interior. Still, the leather's not tore up or anything. Oh, that's awesome. That's a getter right there. You pull up somewhere, people know what this car is. I don't care who you are. When you pull up one of this, that's it. Kills it. Uh, we gotta go to the Mopars over here. Everybody knows how much I love Mopars. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Then you got the mud truck. There you go. So if your girl's big, you put her on her side, nobody will know. She's up top. Hmm. 1974. Hmm. That is an RT. Is that a real RT? That is a real RT. Ooh, nice. Is this one maybe considered for sale? Or? This one will probably be for sale later on, absolutely. Oh, nice. In fact, most of these in this line, uh, the 66 Mustang, is, uh, I wouldn't call it a barn find, I might call it a field find. It, uh, it has some work to come up on it, same as the 70 Charger next to it. Both of these cars need a little love, but they're a great project car. If you're looking to get into muscle cars very cheap, these would be the ideal place to start and then work your way up with what you have. Feels like this one doesn't need to be touched. The color looks awesome. I love that kind of like dingy, like it's been out in the sun. Yeah. That makes it look beautiful. So I oh, feel like you, this is more of a driver car. Get it running, driving, get out of here. Love this it. This is a beautiful, complete restoration. It's a 1970 Plymouth Road Runner with a 440 with a six pack Hoyt Coyote Duster uh, engine in it. This thing is made for extreme driving. It's, uh, uh, everything's been restored to factory except it has a hearse shifter in it. So you can leave black marks in first, second, third, <laughs> fourth, and <laughs> fifth. <laughs> Nice. It's a lot of fun to drive though. It's a beautiful, beautiful car and a really fun color. Oh yeah. Woo. So we're going to what? 50s now? It's this is a 56 Ford Fairlane. That's, uh, this was uh, bought probably for sale uh, very soon. It's a beautiful uh, older restoration, period correct colors. The chrome is an exceptional shape. No kidding, no wear. Fogginess and glasses. This is really a show car, uh, museum quality. Nice, nice. Now, what the heck is this? I'm sorry, I have to go crazy on this. What is this? This is one of two uh, vehicles that are very similar to this that we own. This is called a CMC Tiffany. Uh, the yeah, Tiffany, uh, made in '84, uh, was was an I ideal, uh, a good idea at the time. They were used from '73 to '94. At that, uh, at that point in time, uh, they get this neat uh, letter from the Florida Attorney General threatening to sue them for uh, racketeering and uh, fraud. <laughs> and so we're having a lot of trouble finding a lot of the documentation, owner's manuals, anything about this car because a lot of it was destroyed prior to a federal investigation. But uh, this, this particular Tiffany style was only made from 84 to 89. And uh, so this was a first production run of this car. It's just really unique, and it's an eye catcher. That that's true. Now, is this a made for sale or not? Too sure on it yet. Not too sure on this one uh, because of how rare it is. Uh, the price point would be quite high because it's quite valuable. I'll say the same thing. Yeah. So you gotta have the money to drive this car, but it'd be like one of one. You go to your buddy's <laughs> lot. He doesn't have one kind of situation. Nice. Woo! That black one. Oh, that sets it off. 72 model. Beautiful yeah. limit. 72 Cuda. Really good shape. It's got the, uh, the 340 V8 motor in it, and it is uh, it's absolutely beautiful. This one will probably be for sale. 340 is a really hot. People yeah. want them. Well, they only made them for what, three years, am I correct? It's a very limited run. Yeah. So, I like the rooms you guys put on the big ones in the back. Yeah, staggered look. Beautiful old Roadrunner, 73. It needs a little love here and there, but it's pretty well, uh, it's probably 85% complete and uh, ready to show. Uh, but it's an absolutely beautiful example of what the uh, the 400s uh, look like. I mean, it has the look for it. It has the rims, the paint job, the leather interior. It's pretty set. Yep. I'm digging it. I am loving it right now. Convertible, it is convertible time. It is right now. Time. It's nice and warm outside. 64 Ford Galaxy 500. Someone's done a lot of flame work on the side of it, but it's almost ghosted in with the paint, so it's really, really sharp looking for those that want to come up and give it some special attention. The red interior really sets the car off. Again, it's over restoration, but it is in very good shape. Crank run dry today with no issues whatsoever. 
No, this is not original. These lights right here, that's not original, is it? No, I don't, I don't So that's more of a, you know, that's gonna special gun. That's because it's accent planes and the, the aftermarket feel that, that they put on it. It looks good. You ever want to see a 64 Galaxy? Look at Andy Griffith's patrol car. That's what they came out looking like. <laughs> so this is what it can be with a little bit of love and time. Boom. This yellow. Is that canary yellow? Is that a little... Not skin sure tone. what it is exactly, but it's a beautiful color, and we're keeping with the convertibles. It's a '46 Lincoln Continental, and this car is uh, has been touched here and there, but it's not a full-on restoration. Just the things that needed love. Uh, if you know your movie history, Clark Gable personally owned one of these and drove it. Exact color, exact year model, exact size. It is a massive, massive land yacht, but it's a beautiful example of what Lincoln, Lincoln did back in the mid-40s. The original Karate Kid movie actually had this car, that same body style convertible, really? in it. That's the only reason I know this car. <laughs> if you ever watch the movie, they fixed it up, Mr. Miyagi, wax yeah. on, wax off. Wax on, there wax it is, off. there's the car. Woo! 58 Chrysler Saratoga, this is a massive piece of steel. Uh, really futuristic for its time the body style both the back tail fins are absolutely amazing looking it has a push button transmission if you open the door just to the left <laughs> of the steering wheel it has a selectomatic transmission you mash a button for uh reverse <laughs> or drive or neutral really really unique car and it's really clean because when you look at a black car yeah you know you can't hide defects so when you look at it eyeball right here you can see any defect on it and it's straight you know i don't see no grooves in it you can tell if there's bondo and there's no Bondo. <laughs> That's the cool thing about painting cars. If you're a painted car for a living, you just remember, go like this, look at it, you can see all defects. Not only is it fun to look at, 354 Hemi V8 under oh, the hood. This right. thing will absolutely scream. <laughs> so it looks good driving down the road and it will get down. Yes, That's what I'm talking about. This is one of my favorites because I want it kind of situation. AM General Hummer H1 Classic is the civilian edition. It's all leather interior, huge touchscreen cockpit with uh, lots of amenities that come along with it. But this would be beautiful whether you're riding in the mud or going down the highway. It's absolutely beautiful and it's an awesome, awesome dark green uh, army style color. Got the roof rack, the lights, the rims, the off-terrain tires, the leather interior. I'm in love with this truck. I love the grill too. Uh, if you guys nice. If you ever have to push somebody out of the way, just get a little bump. Ooh. That's all it says. <laughs> barn doors on the back. There's no hatch to lift, no overweight back there, so you can access your cargo area. It's really sharp. Love it. Nice. What, what's up with these right here? A couple of bikes. Uh, a couple of bikes? these have custom uh, airbrush paint jobs that we've commissioned to have on them here. Uh, the yellow one is a show bike uh, from a long time ago, and it's in excellent shape. Original 1979 Piaggio Vespa. Uh, with with sidecar, it wants to be a Harley when it grows up. It's hey, got a little sticker on the front. Vespas are coming back. Hipsters love Vespas, especially in Nashville, Tennessee. They love Vespas. So you can go through traffic, park it anywhere. It's parking expensive. The good anywhere. thing is, I mean, if you need to have a designated driver, you got a place to ride with him yeah. whenever you go back. So it's a three passenger. It's a really unique Vespa, original color, original condition, cranks and runs. You'll be the cheapest Uber ever. You can Uber people on this, okay? <laughs> Ooh. I love the yellow. I don't know. I just like yellow. I love black and yellow cars. This yellow is really popular. This is an old restoration. It's a beautiful car. If you ever grew up in the 80s, which I did, uh, everyone that was anyone had a Cutlass Supreme. In fact, it was in the late 70s, early 80s, it was the best selling car uh, for, the, for that year, era. Uh, the interior is in exceptional condition and it comes with a fully functioning 8 track player under the dash. 8 track? <laughs> <laughs> Bringing it back, guys. Bringing it back. Oh, you know about loves Mustangs. It was a GT. Oh, this so is hot. part of our Shelby collection. Uh, the owner of the museum has an infatuation for Shelby and owns many, many of them. None of these are for sale. Uh, this is a GTH, the H standing for Hertz, Hertz rent a car. Uh, Shelby Motors actually put out an uh, edition for several years and continue to this day that are specific to Hertz and it's their rent a racer program. So when you go to the airport, pick up a car, if there's a muscle car laying there, that's what that is. Uh, this next car is uh, was ordered brand new, almost has 9,000 miles on it uh, from 2008. It's a black on black on black custom order from Shield. Is it the GT500 Cobra? This is the GT500 Cobra. Oof. 
It's a beautiful and some kind of powerful car to drive. Have you driven this car? I have. Ooh. My wife and I went on our first date in this car together. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, 267 Shelby's. Uh, the black one is a GT500. This was a GTH for Hertz. If you ever saw the movie Gone in 60 Seconds, this is an Eleanor body style car. And uh, as performance wise, this one was adapted after it originally came out and was adapted for track racing. It actually has a five point hardness system in it and roll bars. So that's what everybody wants right here because everybody loves Eleanor. Everybody wants to build that car. And there's a couple places that you can get them built. The two replicas, there is, you know, there's kind of situation. Very nice tribute but cars. A legit car like this, this is a real deal, that holy field kind of car. You just want to leave it alone. This looks pretty as it is. That's a legit car. If you want to see what they look like modified, this is a GT350. Same year, same body style, but it's had a little bit of work on it. Door handle shave. Uh, the windows have uh, been taken off. The uh, convertible top's been removed and permanently sealed in. This is a fair weather car. Uh, this is a unique car because it has Carroll Shelby's uh, signature on the, on the dashboard where he personally hand signed the car. It is a beautiful show car under the hood and on top. If I if I did price this car, I'd be like two fifty or higher. That's how much these cars go by. I've been seeing that's how much they normally go by, and it's I I can see that it's just such a beautiful Absolutely. car. This is a 07 Shelby GTH again. It's very similar to the 06. In 06, they only made hard tops. In 07, they only made convertibles. So a little uh, a little bit on both sides of the. Uh, GT looks like he has a, a color theme like he likes. <laughs> yeah. Black and gold. He says, I like gold. <laughs> uh, I just like the hard top. It just feels like it's more my style. And uh, one of the very rare Shelby's he has, he has two of these. In 1999, Shelby Motors uh, contracted to build some prototypes with uh, Dodge uh, for their Durango. And they built 500, and it was a complete bust. Compression was all wrong. You got on it, let the RPMs get up, the motor grenaded, and the hood flew off. Oh. So they only made 500, and we happen to own two of them. Both of them are in uh, running condition, but they call them the Shelby SP360. Now, have you guys fixed the grenade issue? <laughs> uh, no, these are untouched. Well, one we have grenaded. This one is untouched. The, it was it was taken care of instead of hot rodded, but huh? it's, uh, it's in really good shape. At least now you know. If you have one of these, be careful. <laughs> To restore it, this cost too much. It looks good though, I love that color. Mm -hmm. That blue and white, especially on muscle cars. Man, it looks, sets them off. This is a beautiful example of a 32 Ford. It's had uh, a lot of restoration done to it, but it is museum concourse quality. It is absolutely top notch from front to back. It needs absolutely nothing. This is a beautiful, beautiful car. You said concourse, that's like the legit, that's high end. I'm loving the white walls with the red rims. I love that. White wall sets it off. And the red grill. That just really the just grill gives with it the to white me. Walls. The red, white, and blue theme is classic Americana at its best for a 32 Model B. And it also has the rumble seat and the interiors done in a beautiful saddle tan leather. And it is just a beautiful color combination. And it's a convertible. So no. you can ride in style during the summer. How about this car? This is not, I know these are definitely not for sale lined up. Are we going to maybe for sale or? We can decide? do a maybe for sale on this one. We've got to get our pricing right on it, but this is a very desirable car and it would make a beautiful addition to anyone's collection. Now, when, when are you thinking to get the prices? So over the next month or so, we'll be uh, through this. Again, we have another, uh, this, this is simply part of a huge collection that we're working out of. We also have vehicles coming in on consignment and vehicles coming in to uh, our consignment to display, also to broker and sell for people. So. Um, we'll, we'll be rolling those out and again the website and the social media outlets are a fantastic way to keep track of what we're posting and, and what we have available right now so definitely like subscribe look them up harass them just a little bit so maybe he can push a little further <laughs> but hey old school money talks guys you throw enough money at him he'll give you the car <laughs> This is a 67 Camaro RS edition. It's in a beautiful color. Uh, it is an older restoration also, but this is a this is a museum quality car. This is a nine out of 10 car. It doesn't need anything under the hood, doesn't need anything outside of the hood. It's just ready to ride and have some fun with.
This looks like a really new restoration to me. It looks so good. It is. It's popping. I don't see no chips or anything like that. No, there's nothing you know? in it. The, rest, mm. the restoration, I, I, maybe five years old, maybe. Ugh. That guy did a good job. That paint's still super bright. Clarifo looks great on that car. Woo! So for this, black on black, tinted windows, big motor. This thing will haul. This is a beautiful Malibu that's be just as pretty under the hood as it is on the outside. This thing is absolutely built. Uh, Chevelle 300 Deluxe Malibu. The color is perfect. Got four speed on the floor. That's right. Dude, this is giddy. I feel like this car could go on the track. This could be a track car if you want it. If you want a track. Yeah, you can go to Walmart and get some milk, man. It can, it can, it can serve all your needs, no matter what it is. Oh, don't say it's gonna get milk now. Now women gonna want it. <laughs> Wives want to take it home. What's going on? Let's go get some milk. We get there fast. Just another. This is a '71 Plymouth Satellite Sebring. They're known as the GTXs. Uh, the really unique feature is the the air grabber on the hood. It's gonna pop up whenever it creates enough uplift coming over and it's gonna start sucking air. You get that much more performance. The faster you go, the better it drives. Mm. This is another maybe car? This is a maybe car. All right, Absolutely. I love that. So maybe for sale, maybe not. <laughs> but anything's, you know, enough money, it's definitely for sale. Anything's for sale for enough money. That's right, that's right. Now what is this right here? This is a, well, you have to edit this because I don't know. Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> The Dodge SRT. It's a pretty Charger, color. I want to say it's an early 70s. I'm thinking 71 Charger. I'm thinking 71. 71. Here's a car. Oh, we got something there. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Right. Right. I ain't got a lot of information on this. All right. But it's a Dodge Charger 71 model. Motor's a guess. Boom, 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 boom. It could be a 318, a 440, a 400. Uh, what year model? 71 again? It could be a 340? Maybe. 360? We're not sure. It's a surprise. Yeah, so maybe it'll be a surprise for you. Yeah. Everybody enjoy it. Come check it out. Then you guys can lift up the hood and look at it. Oh, Firebird. This beautiful TA is Americana at its best. It's still got the original. Uh, the very desirable honeycomb wheels that the Trans Ams were known for, 6.6, .6, so plenty of power. It's not exactly what uh, Smokey and the Bandit drove in the movie, but it's very, very close. Uh, it just doesn't get as hot in the summer. T-tops are in exceptional condition. And uh, I noticed people with T-tops, they want T-tops. They don't got no hair. They ain't got no hair. They don't got no hair. Every time they want convertible cars, they're bald as cue ball. Yeah. What's up with that, guys? <laughs> I'm just asking. You want convertibles to hit that shiner right there? It's understandable. I would too. I mean, you got, you got to grow a beard. If you don't have hair, grow a beard. <laughs> oh, pink. Pink. This beautiful coral four rear window 51 Studebaker Champion is a very old restoration. But this is a show quality car. This car needs absolutely nothing. It came out of a personal collection out of Tupelo, Mississippi, and it was previously displayed at the Tupelo Automobile Museum. Nice. Hmm. Can I feel that? A little bit. Yeah. Okay. You can turn off the. Boom. Oh, the, the 40s. This is the best body style ever. Teardrops, love it. Color, love it. Wish it was mine. Yes. <laughs> This 40s model is really known for how much uh, room it has in the trunk. Commonly used as a moonshiner's car. It's very easy to build f false compartments in the interior. And this one did have false compartments whenever we bought it. So this was actually a moonshiner, a moon running car. But uh, the, the color, the style, it's, it's one of the most beautiful cars we have. Probably not for sale. Not for sale, <laughs> okay. I feel like you guys fixed the suspension because it's a perfect ride height. You can see the gaps is like perfect, just lower just enough with the white walls and the Moonies. The Moonies, that year model, it's awesome. Everything's done to this car. I'm loving it. And this was super cool. Everybody loves this car. People love them because they love chopping them. You know, lead sled kind of situation right here. It's almost there. It feels like I feel like I need to get a Zaza and cut it for you. If this you one's ready. It's ready for somebody <laughs> to come 
and make it their own. It's it, it's uh, it, it's a very nice older restoration. The color's beautiful. It's for a '49 Ford. Uh, this one was actually purchased at auction out of Northern Indiana and brought in for uh, as part of this collection, as uh, as a lot of classic cars are. But from the hood ornament to the back bumper, this thing is absolutely beautiful for a two-door coupe. So this is a two-tone color. So if you actually look at it, it's blue, but in certain lightings, it will turn purple. I actually painted a car just this color and I loved it. It's just, it does change it every time. So if it comes dark to light, changes the colors. So it's just that metal flake that you can barely see, but that detail, a little bit of that metal flake will change the color and it looks cool. And I definitely painted the car just like this color. My 74 uh, FJ40 painted this same color. It's called baby blue, uh, duck blue, but I'm not too sure what this your model will be for that color, but I painted the same color, it's crazy. 47 Plymouth, uh, Plymouth Special Deluxe. This thing is straight. It did have uh, some restoration work done on it, but for the most part, a lot of the sheet metal is original with some fresh paint on it. Still runs on the original uh, flathead engine. Cool. Still cranks and runs and drives today. It's a flathead, what? V8? V8. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah. Those things are basically bulletproof. I mean, it's really hard. They're hard so thick, up. real metal, you know, it's not thin, nothing. We have a 1920s model Dodge Brothers fire truck uh, that is not on display quite yet. Original engine, next year will be 100 years old, drove in the Christmas parade last year. Still runs and drives like a champ, 100 years old. We used to own a Dodge Brother car in 1927. Uh, and it was Dodge Brothers. Some other you might want to look at. Oh yeah, we we had we sold it because we didn't have enough room for it. Didn't have enough time to finish it up. We sold it to one of my buddies. He loved it. I was like, oh man. Fifty-two Chevy Deluxe Coupe. This thing is a beautiful two-tone color. The darker green with the lighter green runs and drives like a dream. Absolutely beautiful. And the uh, chrome is in fantastic shape. Needs very very little. This is a museum quality car. I feel like you need to buy this car, air ride it, drop it to the ground, and make it a low rider. I'm sorry. <laughs> this car feels like this car just needs the low rider experience. Because it has that perfect body lines. Everybody loves the body lines on it. It's your model. Look at that. That beautiful big stock bump. for someone to make whatever they want out of it. Or to enjoy it as is. No. Really sharp. Is this one maybe? This one's this one this one will be for sale. It will be for sale. Two ship, yeah. We actually got a will be. It's definitely for sale. Okay, <laughs> awesome sauce. <laughs> now what's up with this right here? So here in Mississippi in the South, our demographic absolutely loves uh, the sitting president. We had a Mr. Donald, uh, Trump. Mr. Donald J. Right. Trump himself. Uh, it's an older uh, Lincoln model limousine. Nothing particularly special about it, but it's a fantastic prop to stand our president next to. And uh, a lot of folks love to come into the museum, have their picture made, uh, local politicians, that kind of thing. Just oh, a unique really? feature and display. Nice. Let's see, he's way taller than I am. Oh my God, I didn't know he's that tall. Oh, shake his hand? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Digging it, digging it. This may be a little bit closer to your style. Uh, backing up 32 Ford, this is uh, built on a Model B chassis. Hidden door head handles, everything shaved down the side, custom paint all the way through, uh, new tires, new wheels, uh, lower top. It is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And I believe this one has two side doors. Oh my God, this is beautiful. The paintwork is awesome on it. Oh, got the switch in the door. There you suicide go. Suicide doors. Door. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Interior, mint. Interior, just everything is perfect in this one. Yep. Oh, is that was that gun shifter right now? It is pistol grip. Pistol grip. Oh man. <laughs> oh yeah, you probably wouldn't want to drive this car in the rain. This is how nice this car is. Never seen the rain. <laughs> if it had, somebody was really mad. It's been rubbed on a little. <laughs> There's been a lot of love. A lot of love. I feel like this car maybe made a couple divorces somewhere. Somebody's got divorced over this car. If Red's more your style, the 34 Ford right next to you is going to be... <laughs> the difference is on the grill, and the grill makes a difference grill, sometimes. Absolutely. That yeah. smooth grill and the look. Look at that body line. See the difference on them? The grill does make a difference on a car. You know, it feels like it's a little more headroom on this car. Absolutely. That's always been my thing on this. Headroom. When you got big shoulders like I got, it's hard to drive a car. You got to get comfortable, you know. 
This is actually a pretty comfortable car. Pretty actually, intimate it's, cab, but for a Model 40, it's it's in uh, it's had a little bit of customization, but very nothing to hurt the value. If you want to go back completely the factory with it, maybe someday. Uh, the wheels and tires, brand new. Now, is this a maybe for sale? This is a maybe for sale. We got a maybe for sale. So this will take us up to a 28 Ford, uh, which is a beautiful tea bucket. You want to have something fun, get some attention, turn some heads. This is what you want to do with it. Is this a Mississippi car? I feel like I've seen this car before. This is not originally a Mississippi not car. Not originally no. a Mississippi car. I must have seen a different car show. I feel like I've seen this car before. It's, it's a loud like car. It's a pipe. It's an incredibly loud car. <laughs> incredibly loud car. Floor shifter. It's got the miniature uh, steering wheel in it. It's a lot of fun. Looks like something Scooby Doo would drive up in this <laughs> me, but it's. <laughs> The motor work is exceptionally beautiful. Nice. What's the motor? Is this a 289? Not sure. Sure. It's a V8. Can't really tell. I'm not seeing anything. Tell me what kind of motor it is. It's a V8. It's all that matters. <laughs> it will haul. It doesn't weigh anything, so it's, yeah, it's going to just take off either way. You don't want to drive it on the rain. My buddy used to have one said he drove it in the rain. It just slid it over. Those big tires are not made for the rain. And this is an awesome car. This is a 55 Thunderbird tribute car. It's a fiberglass body car. It's here as a, as a beautiful reminder of what they can look like. It's parked right next to a 57 fully original uh, Ford Thunderbird too. Um, I don't know which one I love better, the red one or the white one. So it's like really hard to choose. This one feels like if you're at the beach, you know, you're going somewhere, definitely catch your eye. It doesn't matter what it is. The white one feels like more, you know, more fall weather. So I feel like this one you should get for summer, fall. You gotta have both. And this one, anytime weather. <laughs> anytime. I don't care. It's beautiful. <laughs> this is a very unique find in the museum. It is absolutely not for sale. This is a 1954 first generation Corvette. Uh, they started production in 53. This was uh, a half year in 53, so this is technically a first production year car. It is all original from end to end, uh, except for the motor. The motor was replaced with a larger 1958 Chevy truck engine in it, but the, the body, the chrome, it is 100% original. Nice. And the funny part is I've actually seen one of these cars in a drag strip, in a Fulton drag strip, this guy was drag racing this car, and this sucker was scoot. I'm talking about scoot. And I'm like, this car looks really nice to be here, but it looks really cool taking off. Corvettes weren't the muscle car whenever they came out. This is what doctors' wives would buy, or doctors would buy their wives to go to the tennis court or to the country club. You know, it was it was uh, it was built as more of a a fun car and not less as a muscle car. Obviously. It took its own life from 54 to 64, the Corvette part, and right next to it we see what we see, um, what we think of more of as the classic Corvette body styling. This is a 64 solid rear window, uh, whereas the 63 has the very, very desirable split rear window. But this one is an incredible, an incredible machine with lots of power. I'm loving the intake and carburetor system going on right here. It is awesome. Oh, man, that is awesome. The side exhaust. It's just classic right there. You gotta have the side exhaust on these cars. It just sets the car off, I think, with that exhaust. Beautiful color, love the lines, and it's sexy. <laughs> Credit, sexy. The RT, that this, Rover? This is a 66 Dodge Charger. Charger, okay. And so it's an older restoration with the paint, and it's got the classic electric shaver grill that Chargers are always known for. Now in the late 60s, they came out with a big fin on the back known as the Daytona fin. And that was a re in response to NASCAR, they needed clean air to get that wasn't disturbed. So they raised the fin up and there's actually been tribute cars built with Daytona fins ever since. But this is a really, really unique car. Has a 440, mm -hmm. nice. Black leather interior, looks super clean. Maybe for sale? Uh, possibly. possibly. Ooh. This is a really nice car for a possibly. That's, that's not, awesome. Uh, it's not here. We have a 2009 uh, Challenger that's a tribute car. It's one of 15. It has the Daytona fin on the back. Really? Same color, same body style, but it's a 2009. Oh, it's not different. here right now, but it's, it's, it's really 
park next to each other. It makes me feel like we need to Google that, guys. Stop the video, <laughs> Google that, see what it looks like, because I want to see what it looks like. I will Google that picture of that car. Just a classic uh, 66 El Camino. It's in wonderful, wonderful shape. This car is for sale, and uh, it doesn't have the tunnel cover to go with it, but it's in a really desirable color, and it's a lot of fun to drive, and just, uh, just as an everyday car. They're like, El Camino. I have another one out front for sale. <laughs> if you drive an El Camino, you gotta drink tequila. It just, it just goes with it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Another beautiful Chevelle. This one, uh, this one is in immaculate shape. And then again, under the hood, it is absolutely spotless. Uh, another Malibu, but for a '72 model, it is in exceptional shape. And the color scheme is something that's really desirable with a blue interior and a blue exterior, the black vinyl top. I used to own one. They're awesome. I used to own one with the double lights. Yeah, on the fronts. Yeah. I just like those, and these cars are just great. I had mine. The original motor had the. 307 in it, so I was like, okay, that's cool. This is a unique car. We've been using it as a promotional car. This car is actually currently for sale right now. What? Uh, so if you've ever wanted to own a Ferrari, this is a 2000 model uh, 360 Medina, and this is the Special Challenge Edition. So you'll notice the emergency stop button out on the front. The interior has been completely stripped down. This is not a luxury Ferrari. This is a race-driven uh, Ferrari. This is a track car. Still has the original slicks on it. Uh, Five-point harness system uh, for the safety system all the way through it. Beautiful Pirelli tires. But this is a race track-driven car. Uh, it's got the Tipo F131 uh, V8 motor. Now, have you ever driven this car? I have driven this car. Nice. I kind of want your job right now. I really, really want your job right now because you're driving beautiful cars that every man dreams of like that's sometimes they just want to drive it i don't even want to own it sometimes i just want to drive the car and to rent to drive a car is like almost two thousand dollars for yeah, a day absolutely so if you want to do that you go to the coast go to the beach <laughs> <laughs> this is an awesome car. we drove it it doesn't like the idle very much this thing is built for speed so it's it's designed for the rpms to be up and this thing to be rolling but it's 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 absolutely beautiful all the promotional markings can be taken off it's got incredibly beautiful body lines and that dark blue uh, with the red accents on So it. this has got to be a lead foot kind of person. Well, if you live in a city, you want to go somewhere fast, this will take you there. <laughs> <laughs> of course, if you want to go the more luxurious route, this 2002 360 Spider mm. is, uh, is not for sale, but with a custom carbon fiber hood, uh, this thing is luxury from the front to the back. It is absolutely pristine and it's a very low mileage car. Mm. Is this for the Lambo doors kind of situation? No, not no, right. no, they, okay. they swing out. I wasn't too sure. I'm looking at it. I think maybe they come up. I'm not sure. They split the production run on these cars uh, worldwide, but only about 2,400 came into the U.S. So this is one of those 2,400 for that particular year. Now, these are the cars I'll never buy because I couldn't afford them. Be truthful. <laughs> but it could happen. I can win the lottery one day, and I just you know, go bump, 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 bump. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, carbon fiber. That's a lot of carbon fiber right here. A lot of carbon fiber. It's on the on the front scoop of the hood, the rear wing. Everything is carbon fiber. There's been a lot of upfitting to this car for a 2008 911 Turbo. Oh. This is a daily driver. This can probably be for sale for the right money, but it is in a, an absolute beautiful shape for uh, for an all-wheel drive sports car. Yes. Funny part is I can actually say I actually driven one of these cars. My buddy actually let me drive it in the rain. I don't know why, but he said, yeah, go ahead. And I took it and it was awesome. Loved it. The response, the response was just crazy. Awesome. Barely touch it. Woo, it just wants to go. This is old school. This is right here. I like the old school this look on it. old school Lotus. It's, uh, believe it or not, 2002, but the body style kind of right. reminds you of what a Lotus should look like. I agree. Dude, that is awesome. I was thinking for some reason the 80s because it has that 80s body style. It feels like it, doesn't it? If you remember having that poster on your wall, this body style was it. And this is what people want. And it's newer, so it has all the good stuff in it. So it's not carbureted. It's fuel injected. Right. So boom. Maybe for sale? Maybe for sale. And this okay. was a throwback. I think from 02 to 04, they went back for the traditional Lotus round head tail lights. And this is in that area there. So kind of 
paying tribute to their roots a little. And it's a supercar. These guys are all uh, supercars right here for you guys. This is not muscle car. We got super on you guys. We never do a super, but we're doing it today. We'll go back to the classic. So let me go back. Let me go back just for a minute to my roots. Go back to my roots. Now the 32 Ford. This is a model 18 Phaeton. These are not incredibly common cars, but this is a uh, older restoration and is in immaculate shape. Fit the kids, grandkids, everybody in the back. Got the room, got the look. It looks conspicuously like a Model B, but it was actually a very rare Model 18. They only made these one year in 1932. So. Nice. How about this, maybe for sale? It's maybe a, for sale. It's a maybe for sale, so he, he did like a hard, mm, mm, you mean the right price, sale. the right money kind of situation. <laughs> 34 Dodge Brothers, 6 Series Deluxe. This is an original Indiana car, and it has been uh, immaculately taken care of. Uh, original, uh, original paint, I believe. Original interior, if I'm not mistaken, but it is, has been well preserved. It's a beautiful car. I really like the back end on these, because if you ever sat on one, they have so much room in the back. So uh, whoever's driving, you're like a chauffeur, if you, and you're in the back just loving the back. The room makes a difference sometimes, for sure. Uh oh. 54 Mercury, uh, Mercury with a 256 in it. Blistering top speed of 96 miles an hour. Uh, this car is for sale. Uh, it was uh, the custom cob the custom sub model uh, came out of Monterey, but this is the, the color, the paint is in great shape. The white walls, again, the red, white, and blue color pattern. The big, uh, what you used to see in the 50s, the huge bullet nose front grille and uh, front bumper, it's just classic. These are very desirable cars. Mercs, everybody wants a Merc right now. They're coming up. You know, the, the people talking about cars are coming up, like wagons are coming up. Mm -hmm. Mercs are too. So get them while they're cheap. If you want to buy this car, get it while it's cheap right now because they're coming up and they're going to go crazy. High dollar in a couple years for sure. This one was a recent addition, 2005 SSR. It's a really unique uh, automobile. If you've never had a convertible pickup truck with a bed cover on it, uh, this this may be your opportunity to have one. They're just sim simply rare. They didn't make them for very long, so whenever it came along, we were excited to be able to lay hands on one. This one will be for sale. And this one is for sale. And it's a SS? That's it. It is. Oh, okay, nice. So it gives it a little perk, SS, and it does convertible style, so you get the hard top look, too. That's always cool. I remember when they first come out, Everybody loved it. Mom talking about you couldn't get your hands on one. So now it's a good time to snap on one while you can. Because you can't find them no more. They're very desirable and highly collectible. And like you said, the, the, the supplies went away. You know, those so the, the, the survivors that are out there have really went up in value. Yeah, the people wrecked them. And when they wrecked them, you couldn't fix them up. You couldn't get parts. That's why people really like, this is it. You get one, you keep it. Keep it in your collection. Drive it a little bit, but don't ever wreck it. <laughs> Harley. Beautiful. Sportster, black on black. Love it. 1200, it's actually the Nightster edition that they have made for a couple of years. It's designed to be really gritty, really versatile for inner city usage. And it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful example of that. And with only 18,000 miles on it for an 08, it's in really, really good shape. I call it a bar hopper. Jump bar to bar to bar. And it looks good every time you pull up. That's all it needs. Need, when a Harley, all you need to do is look good on it. Don't have to even ride it if you don't know how to ride. <laughs> Incredibly loud with a staggered exhaust pipes is an exceptional thing. And I know this one is for sale. And we're going to start probably the asking price around $4,900. It's a heck of a deal to be able to, for all the customization that's been done to it. I'm actually thinking that's super cheap. I'm not going to lie to you. I think that's a great price. So if you want to jump on a deal, on a beautiful bike, this was actually it. That's actually a really cheap price. Oh, here we got the old school Harley. Just the look of it, it's old school. Everybody wants this look right now. Go anywhere, Harley. That's what this what tells me. It's beautiful. If you're more classic, this is what you want. Or if you're married, this is what you want. It's got a back seat, with back floorboards. It's uh, and the color scheme is absolutely beautiful with the dark reds and the silvers. Again, a 2008. The really awesome thing about this Electric Delight Classic is it only has 2,800 original miles on it. So it has been really well maintained, really well kept, and it is a very quiet and very smooth ride. So you can put anything, there's the bags, 
the bumper. Oh man, you can stick anything in there and you can put your dog back here. I know I see a lot of people actually putting their dogs back here so you can ride with your best friend. And I know that's my best friend. My dog's my best friend. If I can fit his big butt over here, you can fit anybody up here. What are you thinking on this bad boy? Oh. Uh, So this one's a, a for, for all you get and the low mileage on it. We're going to probably ask about ninety nine hundred dollars, okay. but uh, we're open to all offers on a, on a bike like this. I'm, I'm thinking ninety nine is actually doable for this bike. I'm, I'm thinking it's actually really doable. Yeah, price is good. Now what is this, buddy? What is going on right here? Scooter? Is this what we're looking at? So if you want to if, if you want to talk bikes, this this is the Cadillac of bikes here. This is a Suzuki. Oh, Bergman 400. This thing is it's absolutely incredible. This goes 180. This thing will haul. <laughs> this thing is highway street legal for any elderly folks that are out there that want to get around the campground really fast or if you want to go pick up your favorite passenger. It's got tons of storage, huge glove compartment, a massive trunk underneath uses no gas whatsoever it only there's no it's a fully automatic transmission you twist it like a moped and you're off there's no reverse there's no uh, gears to change there's no clutch this thing is fully automatic and absolutely a blast to drive so if you live on the beach this is what you need because i know that's what you need because every time we go to the coast we have to rent those scooters and scooters get expensive after you're there for a month or a week or whatever. It's actually just cheaper. Buy one of these right here. You take it with you because I know half you guys have trucks. Load them back of the truck. It doesn't weigh much. Take it up there. Enjoy the ride. You can fit three people on this thing. I know I have done it before. It was sketchy riding. But you know what? We can go anywhere and you can park it anywhere, especially on the coast. If you live on the coast, there's no parking nowhere. It costs out the butt. You can park it anywhere. Absolutely. What are you thinking on this? Hey, for $3,900, it seems like a really good deal. We'll throw in a free DOT approved helmet hey. and, a, and a lock. There you go. Digging it, digging it. Now let's go to the supercars. This display car here uh, to the right is uh, it's in front of our shop. We do all of our own restorations. A lot of the heavy stuff, the painting, we do offsite, but a lot of the chrome fitting and uh, bring them just put life back into them happens right here at our shop we have a master mechanic that's on staff three days out of the five days that we're here uh, we do consignment work customization work we do it all right here in the house so everything in the museum cranks runs and drives right away none of, none of this is just a showpiece or something to sit around and look at and gather dust every bit of it is uh, fully functional so can anybody come outside and say hey, i need you to fix my personal car or just if you're gonna sell a car you fix them no, no, we, you know, we're not going to work on a, you know, a Honda Civic that pulls well, no, what I mean, like, it's not blowing. If, if I'm driving but, a classic car yeah. and I just say, hey, I need this work done, can I come to you? We or no? Absolutely. Okay, so we'll I can come to you. To, to sit down with you and see what it's going to need to bring it up to where you want it to be, but we can do that for you. Okay, so if you have a show car or you want to build up to a show car, you can come over here and they'll get you to that level. There's levels that people always want to rise up to. This is the level. They'll do it for you. Awesome. To the supercars, this beautiful, <laughs> this is an incredible 2012 McLaren. Uh, it's MP4 12C, is the distinctly British blue green color, beautiful two tone black and brown leather interior. This thing has enough toys on it to make James Bond happy. It actually has a, a, a forward sensing radar system on it, has biometric entry, and for 2012, it is cutting edge for today, but for 2012, it was truly ahead of its time. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. So if you go super fast, the nose will actually come down a little bit so you don't fly. This thing will grow wings and make you fly if you go fast enough. Now, is this a maybe? This is not for sale right now. Okay, not for sale. How about this one? I have to say, is this one for sale? Before we even look at it, that's how nice it is. You know, if the price is right, I think we could probably do something on a 2006 Lamborghini Gallardo. The color is awesome. The performance is awesome. This car needs absolutely nothing. It is a showpiece. Yeah. I'm not, not going to lie to you. Before I leave here, I kind of want to sit in this car. I just want to show it to my son. He loves these cars. This is his dream car. So I told him, you better become a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> For a six-speed V10, 512 horsepower, it, 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 it has every one of them fully 
capable and ready to meet the demand that you put your right foot into it. Everybody knows this car. If you barely see it in the corner of your eye, everybody knows what a Lambo is. But they'll love it either way. You pull up anywhere, you are the man. I don't care who you are. You drive a Lambo, you are the man. Absolutely. 2001 Chrysler Prowler. Now these were a classic car that Chrysler were put out. They were a little lackluster in the V6 motor that they had, but to look at was absolutely beautiful. This is one of only 1,200 of this particular edition Ooh. that came out with hand-painted pinstripe, and it's more here for enjoy the body lines and the awesome, awesome body work that's been done on it more than the performance, but it's an important part of Chrysler history, and it was absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually tried to buy one of these cars for my personal, because I loved them, and I thought they were super cool, but the situation when I had these cars, that you can't find them. Everybody that, that had them, they wanted crazy amount of money, because they were not nowhere. Very cool. people did eat them a lot, they, they wrecked these cars. Yeah. Lead foot when you had this car, and it's so nice. It looks just like a 30-something, a but it has that look to it, you know, that smooth lines everywhere. So it's a really desirable car. Is this a maybe car? That's a maybe car. Oh my god, this is a maybe car. Guys, jump on this. Two, 2007 Maserati Quadraporte Executive. This <laughs> thing is luxury at its finest. Uh, sometimes people think maybe a Rolls or a Bentley would be the way to go for the luxury. This thing has everything you'd ever desire. It's a perfect daily driver. It's in incredible shape for a 2007. And it's just a very unique car. You don't see a lot of them around. So this is more like a Donald Trump car. Donald Trump maybe owns like five of these. That's how good it is. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, look at that, sticking out the hood. You know it got a big old motor in it. It all don't fit under the hood. <laughs> There's something to it. It's a classic 71 Corvette Stingray and classic black with the T-tops already open. This is one of the muscle cars that made America. It is absolutely beautiful Stingray with a big blower sticking out the hood. Everyone's gonna know that you're coming and everyone's gonna know that you've been there when you leave. So it should say, let's make America great again. This is the car. <laughs> that is nice. That's a nice car. Uh, these two cars, 2017 Chevy Corvette. This is a Z06 edition. And the signature Corvette Cobalt Blue is absolutely beautiful. This one has less than 10,000 original miles and is the personal car of the owner of the museum. This one's not for sale, but it's a beautiful example, especially with the 2020 Corvettes just being announced this week, mm -hmm. and they're moving to a mid-engine for the latest generation. So oh, this is cool. actually uh, one of the last of its kind whenever you look at a 17 model Corvette. Uh, actually, the next revamp for 2020 will be completely different. Oh, that's, I, I kind of want to see the mid-engine because that gives it that you know, look, and it looks cool. It makes it look more of a supercar, and your boss has great taste uh, give him credit, he has beautiful taste on cars. I'm digging everything he has. His personal cars, I'm loving it, especially the Hummer. I want it. <laughs> Woo! Is that the Royal Purple? Huh? Well, we like to refer to it as Plum Crazy Purple. Okay. But it's, it's the matte black finish hood for the SRT Hellcat. This thing has power dripping out of every corner of it. It is absolutely beautiful. Completely stock and factory, the way it came out. Uh, we were looking for one with a paint to match hood, but actually they came out with this matte black uh, finish hood on them, so it is absolutely beautiful. All I want to say is let me borrow the keys, and I want the red key. <laughs> <laughs> and it knows that there's a red key. Yeah, it. you know there's a red key. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That, that's the boss's car, right? That's his baby. That's the boss's wife's car. That's the boss's boss's car. Oh, that's the boss's boss car. <laughs> the boss's boss has an awesome day. She went to Mopar. Nice. She has uh, one of the cars that she has right now. It's not here. It's actually a, it's a Chevelle. And it's, uh, it's like a coral pink color. All right, there's no cars around by. Best time to do it. We're outside, so I'm sorry for the wind. Sorry for the cars. But we had to point this one out and the beautiful one in the back. I'm sorry. This is a F-250 special edition. Harley yeah, it's a special edition. It's a Harley Davidson edition. It's actually a serial number 876. So it's actually a numbered collection that Harley, that Ford came out with. It's their Super Duty line. So if you've got a trailer you're wanting to pull your classic car with, nothing's going to make a statement better than this beautiful competition orange and black machine rolling up in the parking lot. 
fully bulletproof 6.0 millimeter engine in it. Full ETR delete comes with the tuner. This thing is ready to go right now. We're out coast to coast anywhere you want to. We're going to do an asking price of 17.9, but we're going to be very negotiable about that because we wanted to find a new home. Oh, awesome. So basically, you need to do is buy a Harley motorcycle from them and buy the truck so you can have the full package, guys. I just say if you're going to go that big, go all the way. Buy the bike, buy the car, full package deal. Go home, have a good time. This will do it. And this is the one I'm in love with because I used to have one. The FJ40. FJ40, 61 model, awesome color blue. Obviously, this one's been modified just slightly, but uh, with a huge suspension, the oversized tires, five points harness systems uh, for the seats. The interior is in great shape. The exterior is in great shape. The motor's fantastic. Uh, the dual sealed bumpers, each bumper doubles as an air tank for the tires closest to on front and rear. Super cool. It's got uh, the bikini top. It's, nothing's going to turn heads better than this. And if you want to go drive to town, fine. If you want to go out in the mud and play, do a little rock climbing, it's ready for that too. Well, this, this video doesn't do it justice. I need you to stand right next to it. How tall are you? Uh, I'm 6'3". Six 6'3". Three. Six three. Yeah. This is how tall this is. Now this makes it justice. See the difference? Guys, that is ridiculous. Awesome! I'm talking about crazy. I used to have one and I put a four inch lift. This is just over the top. If you want something over top, this will do it. And the FJs are just super classics. They just have that style to them. Got an asking price of $19.9 on it, but I promise you we're going to be negotiable and we can we can definitely take care of you for if you're, this is something you're interested in. Guys, first come, first serve. Money talks. Come on. I know you guys want this because I want it. There you go. Another El Camino with the leather back. All right. More classic this one look. Is in classic shape. It's a 69 model. It's an older restoration. It's the L48 edition. Uh, everything on it, down to the color, has been customized. This color was very similar to what Chevy offered, except it's had a gallon of Mercedes Benz Pearl poured in with it. So the paint is very unique. And this thing is clean from front to rear. The motor is chromed out. This thing needs nothing. There's not a hint of rust anywhere on it. Originally, Ohio car brought to Mississippi and restored in the south, and it's never left. It's only been wet one time since this restoration. All right. Oh, that's even better. Beautiful car. It's a good deal at 17.9, but we can work with you on the price. Ooh. Make sure you take it. It is currently tagged at Ohio and titled out of Ohio. We've got an open title for it, ready for you. So all of them are all clean titles. Yeah, this is the only way you're gonna get a car around here is clean title cars. Nothing sketchy. Sorry. All right, this dude. I don't know anything about. We don't. What? It's a 55. Yeah. That's a 55. What? Crown Vic. Crown Vic. Oh, hey, that's the first one we heard today. This is the first Crown Vic. All right. 55 Crown Vic. It's an absolutely beautiful, fun car to drive. It needs a little love. It's not show quality quite. There's some pitting on the chrome. A little bit of. Uh, fogging on some of the mirrors. Uh, whenever we found this car, someone had painted it black and pepto bismol pink. <laughs> oh, uh, what? Put it through some uh, some restoration with a matching interior. Everything is brand new, white uh, marble uh, leather interior with black piping and accents. This thing is a show car and it's ready to go. It just needs a little bit more love to get it where it needs to be. It feels like you went through this car. I'm, so, I'm loving the two tone. Two tones are really hard to do and it's really hard to pull off. That's what I see. I'm looking at stuff that's really hard to pull off. Love the grill. And it feels like this car would do justice a little bit lower. Make this car a little low rider. I know some people don't like low riders, but this car will set off real nice. And around the price range that's selling it for, it's super cheap and you can do it. That's why I see it. And what is it right now? It says 15.9. Okay, I wasn't sure if I'm allowed to say that or not. I was like, let's double check. You know what? Let's double check. It does say 15.9 right there. 15.9 so, is the asking price, but asking I promise price. you we're negotiable on that. We can make it work for you. Uh, I don't know. 15.9 looks really doable for this car. It's like, it's, for me, it'll be hard to even come off that price because it's such a good looking car. And a deuce and a half. Sorry, that is super cool. <laughs> Well, if you really like it, and the motorcycles are a couple of guests of ours, but this one's actually for sale too. If you're planning on storming Area 51 next month, this is what you want to do. There right? we go. Somebody brought it up. <laughs> take all your buddies. It's a cargo truck. We're in the U.S. Army. We made 16000 on this one. This one's a 72 model. Still cranks and runs and drives. Huge, powerful motor. Just got a canvas cover over the flatbed in the back. You can take all your friends whenever you storm the front gate. This is the big ride to do it in. Originally out of Jack's 
Jacksonville, Florida. It was driven from Jacksonville, Florida to here in North Mississippi just last year. This thing is road worthy uh, from front to back. This thing will haul anything. If you want to haul motorhome, it will do it. If you want to pull your ex-wife's truck anywhere, this will do it. Just tear it up, go ahead. And it says for sale. We have a for sale sign on it. What are you thinking on this? Well, we're gonna start at 12.9, but again, we're gonna be negotiable. Nice, uh, nice, you're nice. You wanna take this thing to the bottom or uh, outfit it into a, you know, an open land RV or something like that. Comes with a huge winch on the front, capable of picking up tanks or anything else you want it to be on. You know the winches are really hard to get on these things? Yeah, they are. They're, they're really, really hard to get. Combination for yeah. a flatbed with a winch on it. Winch is so hard to have on these things, so it's really awesome to have. Is this a shaft driven winch? Sorry. Is this. Oh, it is. Okay. That's what I was looking at. Okay. it's These are really expensive winches by themselves because it's shaft driven winches. So they're actually really hard to get. I've seen a couple guys just pay like six or seven thousand dollars just for the winch by itself. Yeah. <laughs> and then some come on on FJs that have the same kind of winch. And I know they're really hard to get though. So. That's nice. All right, guys, we're gonna finish this video. All right, guys, hope you guys like what you saw. Please like, subscribe, hit him up. He's, he's ready to sell and ready. Hopefully you guys enjoy this place like I did. I loved everything I saw in here. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, where are we at again? Garth, Mississippi, Dream Riders, Classic Cars and Collectibles Museum. We saw a lot of the vehicles there. Some of those are for sale, some for display. Our inventory is constantly rotating, and obviously we're going to help you buy or sell a classic car of some of the ones that you saw today. We want to give that opportunity to you uh, and do that for you. So if you have a supercar you maybe want to sell, bring it over here. They'll sell it for you. They'll do all the hard work for you, and sometimes that's all it takes. All right, guys. See ya. Love, peace. This is where you need to go to buy any of these awesome cars. Hope you guys like, subscribe, show me some love.